Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ken here, and today I want to talk to you really quickly about all the haters you're going to have to fight with. Hey, I'm Ken. I used to be a homicide detective. I was a cop for over 15 years, and I got sick of it. When I found out I was going to become a dad, I needed to make a change. In the last 15 years, I've started four different businesses in four different industries, and they've made a lot of money. This channel is dedicated to showing people exactly how to build an eight-figure coaching business every single part of it. I love teaching people how to write books, how to get your books traditionally published, how to turn those books into seven-figure coaching businesses, and you're gonna find all that information right here. <laughs> Isn't that like a scary, overwhelming, like just, ah, there's a like a welcome to you this morning, but I wanna talk to you about haters today. And it, I think this is a really important conversation to have. Um, and there's a couple things I want to talk to you about it. First of all, the reason I'm doing this video is I had somebody recently join my group coaching program in the uh, cottage dream vacations business. And there's somebody who I apparently has contacts in a lot of different programs. And um, this person uh, asked for a refund from the program. And she asked for a refund because she was with somebody else who says they know me and um is a hater and for whatever reason the the person who wants the refund won't tell me who it is but they're in toronto i live in toronto and the person is saying that whoever this was is somebody they trust and they said i can't be trusted that I'm a scam, that that what I'm doing, um, that I'm not who I say I am. They are slagging me hard. Uh, and that's what's led her. It's just destroyed her belief, her confidence. And you know, the craziest part about this is I only started taking real estate coaching seriously a year ago. So this person, if they even have ever met me, likely it's from my digital marketing business that's what my guess is but the other thing i've i've heard from other people lately is that now that i'm taking real estate investing seriously in the toronto market and i'm hosting major events like in the last year i've held three major events in the real estate investing space and those events every one of them's had literally hundreds and hundreds of people at it and and because of my unique connection like between real estate expertise and digital marketing expertise, I have this really unique space in the real estate game, in the coaching, the real estate coaching space for, and I'll tell you what that uniqueness is. I'm probably the only real estate coach in Canada that has a dual expertise, one on real estate investing and two on digital marketing. So the reason I've been able to scale my real estate business so quickly is because I know digital marketing and because I have connections with some of the biggest names in the real estate game. Now, I am not saying in any way that I'm the best real estate coach, the most successful real estate coach, never said that. I just started my real estate coaching business because a couple of buddies asked me to show them how I'm doing my short-term rental cottages. And so I created a webinar about a year ago to show those guys how to do it. I invited a bunch of other people because of Facebook ads and the whole thing blew up. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, everybody that's here is haters because you're going to have them if you want to build an online business. If you are interested in building a following, if you're watching this video right now and you're somebody who is already building a following or you want to build a following or you want to do something online, you want to build a seven figure coaching business. Well, here's something I absolutely promise you. Before you even get to $100,000 a month, before you get to seven figures, you are going to have haters and you can't stop that. One of my clients is an amazing human being that I'm helping to build his online business. And I won't name any names in this video because it's a very touchy subject. And he's all excited about building his business, but he's scared to death of having a hater. And he, I see him the way he operates in his business. Every day, every decision he makes is on how to keep people happy. So he's like, he's, 
his Google reviews, he watch, he reads them every day. He checks them every day. Um, his feedback on different platforms, like he's neuronic about it. He's obsessed by it. And his biggest fear about building an online course and launching an online course is ha having haters, having somebody buy the online course that doesn't like it or wants their money back or doesn't do it or fails. And, and the biggest thing that I've had to do to help him come to terms with this is to understand, and, and maybe this is a dirty little secret in the online course space, but if you launch an online course and it's successful and you have hundreds, thousands of new students a month, 75% of people who buy your online course will not take it seriously. 75% of people who buy an online course will not ever take the time to watch the videos or to put things into action. And that's not your fault. And some of them will turn into your haters because they can't come to terms with who they actually are. They won't look in a mirror and admit they just didn't do the work. So instead, they, they have this, because they're not aligned in their heart, in their soul, in their mind, in their direction, then the easiest thing for them to do is to shoot at the other person. So it's not their fault that they didn't succeed in that program. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you're going to have haters. And it's not that you're doing anything right or anything wrong. It's just people when they're afraid when people so if somebody has like a, a fear-based mindset i'll give you an example i joined an incredibly crowded space in ontario canada in the real estate training niche the real estate coaching niche there just in toronto where i live there are dozens of real estate coaches that are building businesses me, because I've been coaching for 20 years and been building businesses for 20 years, I don't care about that. In fact, I've recently found out who one of the best real estate coaches is in Toronto. And I'll tell you his name. His name is Alfonso Quadra. He, he runs a business called Wealth Genius. And here's the way I found out that he was good is one of the guys that's in my program, a guy that's become a dear friend of mine. His name is Fern Goche. Um, we had an incident where somebody in Alfonso's community came to one of our events and was putting stickers on cars promoting their conference. And I said something on social media about it. And Fern reached out to me privately and said, hey, just want to let you know that that guy who did that is not related to the owner of that business. The owner's name is Alfonso Quadra, and he's one of my best mentors. And I love the guy. And you ought to get to know him. Uh, just be careful about what you're if you don't slag his people or anything, because it, it reflects on him. So the minute Fern told me that, I literally took down that post that I made and I reached out to Alfonso and I asked Fern to introduce me to him. And I've had several calls with him and I want to build a friendship with Alfonso because the guy's freaking brilliant and he's got an amazing network of people. And I think in the multifamily space, there's no better coach in Canada than Alfonso Quadra. That's my mindset about everybody. There's another really amazing multifamily coach that I met in the city, Mel and Dave Dupuy. Now, these guys, technically, they're all competitors because they're doing things similar to me. And we have programs in the same price point, but I just don't see it that way. I've built a relationship with Mel and Dave Dupuy, and I've literally helped them in their business, given them tips on things to do, showed them how to implement a virtual assistant in their business. They speak at all my events. They're freaking amazing. People love them. And I'm building this crazy friendship with them. And that's that's the way I look at competition. I want to be friends with everybody. And if somebody joins my network and pays for my $13,000 Canadian with HST included program, and they're already in somebody else's program, I'm going to say they're fantastic. It's a great program. I And if they have anything negative to say about it, which this person I'm telling you about did, I say, look, I, I think you should talk to them about that because I know the owner of that program and I know that's not his heart. And if you've had a bad experience, have the guts to talk to them about it. Um, because I, I, I will not, I've been at this way too long. I will not hate on somebody else. But anyway, getting back to the reason for this video with you right now is that if you're going to build 
a seven figure online business of any sort, a coaching business or any type of seven figure business in the online world, understand you're going to have haters. People are going to slag on your Facebook ads and say shit. People are going to, you know, make posts. People are going to listen carefully to this. You're going to have people from your community that interact with these people at events. And because they're freaking shallow, shallow cowards, they're going to, they're going to slag you like this person did to the lady that I'm telling you about. Somebody out there, because they don't have freaking guts and they don't understand how small this world is and that we all should go out and join arms and, and promote each other. Somebody went out and said, well, you can't trust Ken. He doesn't know what he's doing. He, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, you shouldn't trust him. You should get out of his program. And, and, and it just like, for me, I'm, I'm all right with it. I just want to know who it was. I want to, I want to be able to validate what was said. I know it's bullshit. I know it's just a hater, but for the sake of that person and their sanity, I want to validate what it was all about. Um, but my advice to everybody today is for, for those of you that are building coaching businesses, just know that when you get into this online world and you start making hundreds of thousands of dollars, you are going to have haters. You're going to have people that hate on you. And every once in a while, something's going to happen like that. Where So this lady was brand new to my community. She barely knew me. Um, and I said to her, what you really should do is talk to people who are, have been in my community for a year and see what they say about me. But whatever the person said had, has spoiled her mind. And, and you're like, you'll see, watch this video. Come back to this video in a couple weeks from now, and you'll see there'll be people from my cottage business and my investors accelerator program and my inner circle that will make comments on this video and say, Ken, you're a good guy. Don't worry about it. I'm in Ken's program. They'll endorse me because of this, which, which is the other point. What you should focus on is being a true leader to the people in your community and help them every way you can that you, of course, you've got to do it in the context of what you're selling. So I have a program that I sell for $797 that teaches people how to build a cottage business, how to buy a cottage for free, rent it on Airbnb, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's a done, it's a do-it-yourself program. So I don't have a lot of interaction with those folks. I meet with them once a month. And so they might not be as likely to endorse me, but they should like the training because the training is really free good. The Investors Accelerator program I have, I work with every one of these freaking people through a group program. So I figured out how to do it in a way that it's easy. And I've built a major list of people who want to lend money in real estate investing. And anybody that's in my Investors Accelerator program, I actually help them raise the money from my list. And I've never failed doing it for any of my people. Um, and, and that's what somebody gets if they join the Investors Accelerator program. It's, I'm telling you, it's freaking crazy how cool it is. And so I know that the people that are in my community love what I do. They know I work my ass off. They also know I'm a human being. They also know I have my good days and my bad days, but they're willing to endorse me because they believe in me, right? So what you want to do is focus on those people. And if they love you, then don't, don't let that change. Do everything you can to help them. And don't worry about the haters. There are going to be haters out there. And they're mostly haters. Most people are actually haters because they're afraid of you. So there are some people in the real estate coaching space in Toronto that are not building big businesses yet. They're trying to get to $100,000 a month in income. I'm, I'm the new guy that came into this seriously a year ago. And our business is already doing, um, well, we're averaging about a quarter of a million dollars a month in revenue just in the coaching business. But we're, we also have major real estate developments that we're working on that will make even more. My my whole, this is one thing you want to check. If you're, if you're following a coach, make sure your coach is actually doing the thing. <laughs> make sure he's actually building a real estate business because he's not a coach unless he's actually engaged in doing it himself. And the best coaches, the ones I've mentioned in this video, are actually doing it. They're amazing people. Um, if you want to follow real estate coaches that know what they're talking about in this city, um, my advice to you, um, 
Alfonso Quadra, definitely everything I've heard about him and I've talked to him, he's a good guy. He really is. Mel and Dave Dupuy. Tracy Fines has an amazing program. Daniel Char has an amazing program. Uh, and there's some others that just aren't coming to mind right now. Um, Scott McGilvery, uh, he has a program with his buddy called Keyspire. It's a great program. Now, if there's one more thing I want to say. My suspicion is it's probably something to do with this Keyspire community because it's freaking massive. And there's probably somebody in Keyspire's community who slagged me who said that. And I could be totally wrong, but but let me say this about that. That has nothing to do with Scott McGilvery and Keyspire in general. Scott McGilvery and Keyspire, great program, really is. What happens in it at some of their rank and file events because it's so large? It is what it is. Anyway, that's my advice for you today. If you are really serious about building a big coaching business, get ready for the haters because they're going to come. Keep your cool about it. Um, always, always seek to find the truth in any of those types of interactions and focus on the people that trust you and love you. Make the world a better place. See you soon.